Ah, you're back. I knew you would be. Now bear with me. Let me just hit send on that pretend email. Now, the last time you were here, invading my personal space, I told you about the Apogee Mic Plus, which I was considering as a travel microphone, but which ultimately I'd ruled out. But I didn't tell you what I'd chosen instead. I left you on a cliffhanger, biting your nails, probably not sleeping at night, maybe even lashing out at your partner unforgivably. But you can pull yourself out of that pit of despair and self-disgust that you rightly put yourself in for your abhorrent behaviour, because I have the answer. I chose the Rode NTG4 shotgun mic for two reasons, and not just that it looks cool. Firstly, it being a shotgun mic is directional, so it'll reject some of the ambient sound that I'm bound to encounter when recording in less than perfect spaces. So that's a major plus. Secondly, it records the character of my voice in a way that's not dissimilar to the TLM-103 that I use as a matter of course here in the studio, so that's a big plus. Of course, it needs phantom power, for which I bought the iRig Pro. No major self-noise issues, and the sound is faithful. So you still need a mic stand, ideally a shock mount, both cheap, this was about 166 quid, I think, for the microphone itself, whereas the Apogee Mic Plus, which was still good, was about 190 odd, and the iRig Pro, I think that was about 60 or 70. So it's a little bit more expensive. But the fact that it will reject a little bit of ambient sound, the fact that it's a closer reproduction of my voice, makes it the right choice, I think. Now, I've got things to do. Off you go.